A. Not to freak you out or anything, but every second, your body creates 25 million new cells. I'll do the math for you. That means that in about 15 seconds, you'll have produced more cells than there are people in the United States. Think about that next time you feel you haven't been productive enough. It may account for only 2% of our body mass, but our brains actually take up 20% of our blood supply and oxygen. Our brains can also produce enough energy to supply a light bulb. That is, when we're awake. Ever thought about what the largest human organ is? It's your skin, and it's thickest on the palms of your hands and soles of your feet. I know, I know, I hate dusting too. But you are particularly responsible for that layer of fluff on your TV screen, you know. Every human being sheds about 600,000 particles of skin every hour. And most of the dust around your house is actually composed of that. So yes, we're all rather flaky. These days, it's considered more of a beauty mark. But the reason why people are born with a cupid's bow is actually quite intriguing. As our features start to develop before we're even born, it appears that the cupid's bow is actually the place where our face, well, zips up. The right side of the face and the left side of the face, that is. While in humans, it may not be that obvious. If you look at your dog's nose, you'll see it has a straight vertical line just under the nostrils. That's right, dogs have this zip too. Did you know you were born with more bones than you have today? At birth, we have somewhere around 300 bones. But as we age, some of them fuse together. That's why in adulthood, we end up having about 200 bones. Although your teeth are technically part of your skeletal system, they're not actually bones. They do look sort of similar and do share some characteristics, like being the hardest element in your body. Why the misconception, though? Well, it's mostly because both teeth and bones contain calcium. To be a bit more specific, about 99% of the body's calcium is in your bones and teeth. The remaining calcium is in your bloodstream. So what makes them different, you might ask? It's in how the bones and teeth heal and how you should take care of them. While bones can repair and heal themselves, your teeth aren't able to do that. That's why we have dentists. We don't only have unique fingerprints, our tongues are one of a kind as well. Research has shown that those approximately 10,000 taste buds on our tongues are laid out in a unique pattern, specific for each one of us. About 80% of what you believe is taste is actually smell. The combination of taste and smell that we perceive is what we come to know as flavor. It's probably because our sense of smell is around 10,000 times stronger than our sense of taste. So, the next time you're tuning in your favorite song, try to pay some attention to your heartbeat. Do you hear that? Yep, that's right. While listening to some music, your heartbeat will sync with the rhythm of the song. And speaking of that healthy ticker of yours, just in case you're wondering, it beats on average about 75 times per minute. This means that in any given year, a human heart can pump enough blood to fill an Olympic-sized pool. What's even more fascinating is that if you were to connect all your blood vessels end-to-end, you'd be able to circle the Earth four times. But that would really hurt, so don't try that. We are the only species on this planet to have a chin. There's still some debate around this subject in the scientific community, but one of the reasons seems to be to make our jaws stronger. As humans have continued to evolve, their teeth and the muscles in their jaws got smaller and smaller. So they needed something to help with increased jaw resistance. That transparent part of your eye is called the cornea, and it helps the light go through. It's also the only part of your body that isn't connected to any blood supply. Why? Because it's especially designed to get its oxygen straight from the surrounding atmosphere. If you took out all the fat found in a healthy human body, it would be enough to make 7 bars of soap. We also produce enough saliva in our lifetimes to fill two swimming pools. Great expectorations! Ever wondered how much we actually eat during our whole lifetimes? I'll spare you the math. An average-sized person eats nearly 66,000 pounds of food throughout the whole course of their lifetime. How much is that for scale? About 6 elephants. And that ain't peanuts. Each of us carries around 4 pounds of bacteria on average at any given time in our bodies. But hey, don't go running to the doctor just yet. Most of that bacteria is actually good and have specific functions in the human body, like digestion and our immune systems. If you want to have an accurate depiction of your height, 
make sure you measure yourself in the morning. That's because you're about 0.4 inches taller right when you wake up. Trust me, it isn't magic. It's merely because, throughout the day, the soft cartilage between your spinal bones gets squashed down and compressed, making you seem shorter by the time you go to bed. We know that we have some sort of energy moving around our bodies, so we actually do emit a tiny amount of light. It's too weak for our own eyes to see, though, but if you think about it, you're actually glowing as we speak. The humorist and author Mark Twain once said, Man is the only animal that blushes, or needs to. How true. But not all humans can blush, and those that do blush to different degrees. Is there some sort of evolutionary reason for why we blush? It seems so. Blushing is a way for us to communicate without using any words. Just like dogs wag their tails when they're happy or excited. So, basically, blushing can be translated to I'm embarrassed, similar to how we shiver when we're cold. If the human eye was a camera, it would have about 576 megapixels. Our vision of the world changes throughout our lives. As soon as we're born, we see the world upside down for a bit. Our brain is programmed to show the inverted image formed on our retina by the convict's eye lens. But that doesn't kick in immediately after birth. Hey, I'm sure you enjoy that weekly cardio and weightlifting, but the strongest muscle in the human body is definitely not the one you've been working on. It's actually in your jaws. Your jaws are designed similarly to a nutcracker. Why? So you can get powerful bites with as little energy as possible. The fastest muscle is located in your eyes. That's probably how we came up with the expression in the blink of an eye for when something happens really quickly. Did you know that your nose comes with a built-in reset feature? It happens when you sneeze. Sneezing is basically your nose's way of getting rid of all the bad particles it has inhaled up to a certain point. If you think that's bad, it's not. Did you also think your pinky finger is something weak and pretty much useless? Well, it actually packs up to 50% of the strength in your hand. We still haven't figured out precisely why people yawn. Now, we aren't the only creatures to do it. Baboons, guinea pigs, and the Siamese fighting fish yawn to warn other animals to stay away. Penguins seem to yawn during courtship rituals, and snakes yawn at times after a good meal. Boy, there's a happy snake. Some theories suggest it helps us get more oxygen in, while others indicate that it helps with regulating our body temperatures. Either way, we still don't know for sure. Our ears and noses are the only organs that continue to grow throughout our lifetimes. Our eyes stay more or less the same size as we grow up. By the time we're three months old, our corneas should technically reach their full size. Now, if you were asked where your stomach was, you'd probably point to your tummy. Sorry, but that's wrong. It's actually up here, hidden behind your ribs. Your stomach has a pretty incredible capacity, being able to hold up to a half a gallon of liquids. That's a whole large bottle of Coke. It's pretty hard to estimate how much hard food you can eat, because it's processed with your teeth before it ever gets to your stomach. There's definitely not enough room for a turkey, but a good-sized chicken would probably fit it in. Speaking of organs, scientists believe that the appendix will disappear eventually. Nobody really knows why we need it, but some researchers claim it might have existed to help our ancestors digest tree bark. Because it's no longer a part of our daily diet, the appendix isn't necessary and can disappear from our bodies without any consequences. Now, the appendix isn't the only obsolete part of our body. Wisdom teeth aren't that useful either. Yeah, they used to come in handy when our ancestors lost some of their teeth. But the only thing they help us lose now is the money we spend extracting them. In fact, you can easily survive without your appendix, stomach, one kidney, or one lung. (laughs) Nice to know we have spare parts. If you never knew you had a personal bodyguard, look deeper. Your liver is your security guard, protecting you from toxins and many other things you don't want to have. It's also pretty indestructible and can even regenerate. Your liver is a very important organ that works a lot and is responsible for 500 individual functions. Up to 10% of it is made of fat. The liver can grow back. Yep, even if you only have half of your liver left, it can still regenerate to its original size. Now, on average, the heart is as big as your fist. 
It beats 115,000 times and pumps around 2,000 gallons of blood each day. The right lung is bigger than the left one because your body needs to make some room for the heart. You inhale a lot of different types of debris, including 7,000 of your very own skin flakes, and that's only in a day. The stomach is the most important defender of the immune system. Hydrochloric acid in our stomach kills dangerous food toxins, viruses, and bacteria that get in there with the food you eat. This acid can digest even the stomach itself, but the mucous membrane protects it. You can burn calories when you take a hot bath, as many as you would if you took a half-hour walk. You burn somewhere between 100 and 200 calories per hour while standing. Sitting burns 60 to 130, depending on your height, weight, gender, and age. Now, your own body makes mosquito bites swell and itch. A mosquito breaks your skin. Your immune system perceives the insect saliva as a foreign substance, so it starts a special reaction to flush the intruder out of your body. A compound produced by the immune system, called histamine, makes the blood flow faster around the bitten area, and it causes swelling. The histamine also sends a signal to the nearest nerves, which makes the bite itch. Meanwhile, the food on the plane is likely to taste different than on the ground. That's because you lose up to 30% of your taste bud sensitivity due to the dryness and pressure in the cabin. It's especially true about salty and sweet foods. Now, you wouldn't be able to taste food without saliva. Your taste buds have chemoreceptors that recognize different flavors, but they need some liquid for those flavors to bind into their molecules. Also, you can't taste things saliva doesn't dissolve. You can always squeeze in some dessert, no matter how much salad, soup, or meat you've eaten before. Your body gets bored of savory tastes, but when you see and smell something sweet, like ice cream, cakes, or chocolate, your brain gets excited. It overrides all fullness signals for pleasure. Plus, your stomach is a flexible organ, and sugar helps it relax and physically make room for dessert. Hey, I rely on that information. The tongue is one of the strongest muscles in your body. This organ contains more than 10,000 taste buds, and each bud is filled with microscopic hairs. Their job is to sense your food, distinguish tastes, and send information to your brain to initiate the appropriate digestion process. During your life, all those tiny bumps and ridges on your tongue create a special individual pattern. That's why experts say that tongue prints are as unique as fingerprints. Your tongue doesn't have separate bitter, sweet, sour, or salty sections for tasting. Each of the 8,000 taste buds you have on the tongue, the roof of the mouth, and even in the throat can detect all the tastes. For some people, cilantro may taste similar to soap because the plant contains a chemical used in soap making. But only 4 to 14% of the world's population have special genes that can detect it. The masseter is the strongest muscle you have based on its weight. Together with the rest of the jaw muscles, it can close your teeth with a force of 200 pounds on the molars and 55 pounds on the incisors. Your spine has a great memory. It remembers your posture, making it so difficult to change it for the better. You owe goosebumps to your ancestors from many, many, many years ago. Their hair used to stand up to make them look bigger and scarier to foes. Cats hiss and arch their backs for the same reason. Only about 43% of you is actually you. Over 50% of the cells in your body belong to tiny little creatures that mainly live in your gut. Still, even though your own cells are fewer than the microbial ones, there are, on average, about 100 trillion of them in you. See? You're not alone. With this in mind, your own genes are less than half of what you really consist of. If you take all the microbes dwelling within your body and count their genes, you'll find between 2 to 20 million. Now, our height, the shape of our body, and skin color depend a lot on where our ancestors used to live. But we can adapt to new conditions even within our own lifespan. For example, if you move from the plains to the mountains, you'll eventually develop more red blood cells to compensate for the lack of oxygen. And naturally, if you move from a colder climate to a hotter and sunnier one, your skin will get darker to adapt. Our lifespan is programmed within our cells. They constantly review and divide, but they have a sort of internal timer that stops at some point. Some cells also stop reproducing sooner than others. On average, cells cease dividing when we reach the age of 100, if we're that lucky. 
That means that if we could find a way to trick ourselves into turning off the timer, we could potentially live forever and move in with our grandchildren. (laughs) A human mouth is pretty unique. You won't find two identical sets of teeth even among identical twins. That's because the shape depends on how each person is using their jaw. Even the tiniest habits you used to have many years ago, such as lip biting, affect the formation of your teeth and the uniqueness of your dental impression. You've probably noticed that lipstick prints on a napkin or a mirror are always slightly different depending on who left them. Alright, who left the lip prints? Studies of both females and males revealed that lip print patterns for each individual are unique. They didn't reveal any special traits based on the gender factor. The mandible, or the lower jaw, is the only skull bone that isn't fixed to the bone around it. It's attached with connective tissues and muscles. This is what makes it so mobile. You can move it in any direction you like. There are clusters of sensory cells in your tongue. The buds that are closer to the surface are more short-lived. That's the reason you don't have to wait for too long to be able to taste again after burning your tongue. Your fingertips are sensitive, but hundreds of times less so than your lips. Aha! The lips again! You know what? In 10 years from now, you'll be a completely different person. Well, at least your skeleton will be. To reach its adult size, your skeleton went through a process called modeling, which means the development of growth and formation. Turns out it regenerates completely once every 10 years or so. This entire process ensures you always have healthy bone cells, which can support you and provide calcium to your body. And speaking of ways the body regenerates, every second you make 25 million new cells. I'll do the math for you. Okay, that means in about 15 seconds, you'll have made more cells than there are people in the United States. Think about that the next time you feel you haven't been productive enough. Some animals have eyes that need to adapt to hot climates, like camels, for example. Their eyes feature a third eyelid, but these sweep across from the corner of each eye. Because their environment is filled with small particles, they need to clean their eyes more frequently than other species. Now, see that little pink thing in the corner of your eye? It's also a third eyelid. Well, a vestige at least. In humans, the third eyelid is unnecessary because it no longer serves its original purpose. If you regularly have your nails done at a salon, you've probably noticed you need more appointments for your fingers than your toes. That's because fingernails do grow faster. The definitive scientific answer is still up for debate, but many specialists think it's because fingernails used to be claws somewhere back in our ancient history. These days, they're flatter and have widened a bit, And it all happened when primates started using tools in their day-to-day lives, like stones and branches. So there was less use for claws. Once they got flatter, it meant nails wouldn't have gotten in the way if primates wanted to use the palms of their hands. As for why fingernails grow faster than toenails, the short answer may be the fact that we use our hands more than your feet. As such, our fingernails are more exposed, and we may have evolved to grow them faster. The more you use a certain part of your body, the more it becomes exposed to damage. So for me, I'm in danger of my mouth falling off. Oh boy. Getting back to our hands, it's about time we give a nice shout-out to our humble pinkies. We don't see them as being really that important, since we don't use them for holding objects, eating, or writing. But recent studies have shown that losing the pinky on our dominant hands would have a devastating effect. Specialists haven't gathered enough data to supply specific numbers, but from what they've learned so far, losing our pinky would weaken our grip strength considerably, even if it's the lesser-used finger. Adding the ring finger to that and the effect would be worse for our grip strength. Another recent study done in the UK has shown that only about 40% of people are happy with how their nose looks. Regardless of how you feel about it, the human nose is a real-life superhero. That's because it acts as a heater, filter, and humidifier all at once. Inside each nostril, there are small, shelf-like bones that feature blood vessels. They heat the air up before it reaches other parts of our respiratory system. 
the mucus that's inside there handles making the air more humid. As for the filtering part, that's why we have nose hairs. Small particles get stuck on these small hairs, which helps prevent pollen, spores, viruses, or bacteria from reaching our lungs. Now, when watching cartoons, we're led to believe that the sound our heart makes is because it's touching its environment while beating. Well, it turns out that sound is actually made by the opening and closing of the heart valves. They're like small doors inside our hearts that open and close to pump blood correctly from one side of the heart to the other. For our bodies to work, blood needs to move at the right time and in the right direction, or else. You've probably heard the myth about dreams only lasting a couple of seconds in reality. Turns out that yes, some of them do, but not all dreams are the same. There are a lot of things we don't understand yet about how we dream. What we do know is that they mainly happen during the rapid eye movement or REM stage of sleep. During this time, your brain is more active, about as active as it is when you're awake. And it's named REM because during the sleep stage, your eyes tend to move a lot. Dreams can happen during the other stages of sleep too, but you're less likely to remember them. As for the length of each dream, They can go from a few seconds to even 20 to 30 minutes. Also, you're more likely to remember a dream if you've woken during the REM stage. Most people have 3 to 5 dreams per night, but some people can have up to 7. I know, seems unlikely, but remember, you immediately forget most of what you dream. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.